Figured I'd show you guys how I learned to unclog the Centuri Carbon. This is my version of a cold pull or atomic pull. So first thing I'm going to try here is to unload. When my printer stops extruding, about 50% of the time, this will solve the problem first. I'm going to heat up and then hopefully this will help remove the clog. All right, next thing I'm going to do is remove this tube. You got to give it a little push on the collar and the tube pulls right out. I'm going to push in some more rigid PLA and hopefully that will push out the TPU. Okay, I press load. The thing is heated up. Let's see what we get here now. Pulling the filament in. Let's see, give it a push. Not sure that's going to work. Okay, my previous attempts did not work. So now we have to take apart the hot end and pull the plug. And not this plug, I actually meant the, the plug of TPU. So pull that out. Be careful to hold the connectors and don't pull on the wires. Let's take this next cover off. This is kind of a pain to work on. I need to get a better Allen key. Two more on the other side. Okay, now we take this cover off. Next, we have to take the hot end off. All right, those are out of the threads already, but it's still not pulling out entirely. If you give a little sideways pressure, it will thread out some more. So you can pull it out easily. Now, there you can see is the actual problem. That plug of plastic right there is our problem. So what I have figured out is using a finishing nail or uh, I don't know what these are called. Anyways, it's got a little ring shank nail for like pictures and stuff. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's what I've been using to grab the filament. So I'll just heat it up, get it nice and hot. Heat, 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 heat. Should be good. Now, let's just jam this in here. Okay, this hot end is still pretty hot. I didn't let it cool down too much, but that will actually help as well. Down in here, there's these little connectors that hold the hot end on. So I'm not even going to bother taking those out. I'm just going to leave it where it is, just to try to save some time. And I just sort of hold here to secure as I pull. Sort of sandwich it all together. So, let's see. Or maybe I'm not even going to do that. Maybe I'll just hold it here. And give it a pull. Ah, no. I reach over top of the printer. Let's try again. 
Let's zoom out so you guys can see this better. Get a pull. And there's the plug. Problem solved. So that did the trick. Now let's put her back together. Push that back up there. Push the screws in. So I'm not sure what the problem is entirely that's giving me these clogs. Uh, I'm using a very soft TPU and I think my retraction settings are too high. I have them set at 1.5 and this keeps happening. Uh, test print I did before this at 1.1 did not cause this problem, but there was still stringing. So I'm still trying to tune this in. Um, I'm in a pretty dry area, so I'm not using a dryer on my TPU. That could be part of my stringing issue as well. Um, in the coming days I will get one. We'll see if that improves anything. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I was looking online and just could not seem to find anything to show how to unclog the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. So there's my quick fix for getting the plug out. You can also take this cover off and this is where it pushes the direct drive pushes the filament down. I have never had a clog in here but I did take it apart to see. There's three screws. Not a big deal really. Um, but anyways that uh, that concludes how to fix it. Okay so everything is set now. I just did my PID tuning. I'm going to do some leveling on bed A, the textured side. Okay, let it do its thing. And we'll be back to the races. Final thing I almost forgot to show you guys is uh, you heat up your nozzle and then put a piece of more rigid plastic in, in in the case of the TPU which got plugged. I'm putting in some PLA after it and that helps push it out of the nozzle. I don't know if you can see that down there. But that helped, uh, helped get it unplugged. So as a little addition, I thought I'd show you guys what I'm making um, for the TPU. I'm trying to make my kid a pair of these uh, pretty cool Crocs. I don't know if you can see the stringing here though. There's a little bit of stringing in there. Um, you know, it's clean upable. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. I think. I don't know. And here's a cool bionic hand that I made for her. My daughter loves this.